Hello, in this video, I'm going to be going over 10 add-ons that you can add to your Unreal Engine project that should help you when you're making your game. And all of these add-ons are completely free, so you don't need to worry about paying a thing. If you do find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Kicking off our list is Diversion, a free cloud-powered version control system designed to save Unreal developers from merge conflicts and setup headaches. Diversion is built for simplicity. Artists, designers, and programmers can use it without touching a single command line. I even made a tutorial video where I go over how to set up and use Diversion to have version control for your project. I'll make sure a link to it appears somewhere on the screen now. Here are some of the features which make it stand out. Conflict prevention. Diversion automatically soft locks files when you edit them. So if say you're working with multiple teams, it would warn them, that way they don't overwrite your work. Your changes save privately to the cloud and are only shared when you commit. It's Git friendly, so if you already use Git, you can import your repo and keep it synced. The free tier is very generous. So it supports up to five users and 100 gigabyte storage at zero cost, which is ideal for indie teams. So you can collaborate with up to five people and you get 100 gigabytes of space to have your project on their cloud. Next up, we have the Paper ZD plugin, a plugin that fixes Unreal's biggest weakness, 2D animation support. If you've ever struggled with Paper 2D's limitations, this tool is a game changer. Paper ZD lets you build fully featured 2D animation blueprints, just like Unreal's 3D system, but for sprites, bullet books, and even 2D skeletal animations. I've made many tutorials about how to use Paper ZD. It's a pretty cool tool. And I even have an entire course where I go over how to make a 2D platformer game using the Paper ZD plugin. That's included as part of my master model. There'll be a link to it in the description of the video. And I'll make sure I link some Paper ZD tutorial somewhere on the screen now in case you want to check out a free tutorial on how to set it up and use it. Here are some of its powerful features though. Powerful animation graphs. You can control frame by frame animations with a visual editor, blending, and transitions, no coding needed. Notify system. You can easily trigger sound effects or gameplay events at the exact frames with their notify system. Directional animation support. So it doesn't just support classic 2D platformer games, it also supports top-down, and you can easily make your character switch angles. So, bottom line, if you're making a 2D game in Unreal Engine, you need to have the Paper ZD plugin. It's very helpful and it removes the engine's biggest roadblock about you not easily being able to set up different animations for 2D characters. So I'd highly recommend that you check out the Paper ZD plugin if you want to make a 2D game in Unreal Engine. Next up, we have the Editor Web Browser. If you're watching an Unreal Engine tutorial on one screen and you open up the internet to watch the tutorial, this will close all of the windows in your Unreal Engine project and it can make it harder to follow along with the tutorial. The Editor Web Browser plugin fixes this issue by allowing you to embed a fully functional Chrome browser directly in Unreal Engine's UI, so you can easily switch to an internet tab inside Unreal Engine without having to close all your windows automatically. You can dock it anywhere. Pin it to your layout, like any other panel, if you want the window in a specific screen. No more switching tabs. You're no longer gonna need to constantly close Unreal Engine and open up the internet. It will exist directly in Unreal Engine. So, it's perfect for following Unreal Engine tutorials and it's also just good if you want to listen to a song or podcast while you're working. Next up, we have the Project Cleaner plugin. This plugin is designed to detect and clean unused assets and empty folders in your project. This will help you save time compared to if you have to manually just delete and remove all of your unused and empty folders. Also, as well as just checking for unused assets, the plugin will also check to see if there are any corrupted asset files. This type of asset may appear when you migrate assets from one project to another. These corrupted asset files can also sometimes cause your engine to crash, so it's just generally helpful to have. When it's cleaning your project, all of those assets which are detected will be shown on a separate tab. You can also easily configure the scanning methods used by this plugin to exclude certain assets if you want to do that. Next up, we have the Universal Animation Library Pack by Quaternus. The Universal Animation Library is a kit of 120 animations created using a Universal Humanoid Rig, which is compatible with Unreal Engine, Godot, and Unity, all ready for retarding. The animations cover a wide range of actions, all the locomotion movements in different directions, combat, 
gun, emote, and much more. Now, like I mentioned, all of the assets in this pack are free, although with this pack, the free version will get you access to around 60 to 70% of all of the animations in the pack, and they cover a wide range of uses. And if you actually don't know, Cortanus releases free assets every so often. I actually used some of his assets in one of my tutorials ages ago. If you're just looking for some free assets, you can check out Cortanus.com. Next up, we have the MetaHuman plugin, which enables you to have MetaHumans inside of your project. MetaHuman is a complete framework that gives anyone the power to create, animate, and use highly realistic digital human characters in any way possible. You create your MetaHuman online, and then you can enable the MetaHuman plugin inside your Unreal Engine project, and then this will allow you to have MetaHumans. And recently, they've done a lot of optimization to the MetaHumans. Before, I'd say they could only really work in like cinematic projects, although they've made it so we can customize when we import the MetaHuman into your project. So now it's like a lot more applicable to use in games and things. And recently, in the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.5, they have this feature called the Audio to Facial Animation. And this is a super cool feature. Basically, you can record a line of audio and then the MetaHuman will basically, based off the audio you provided, provide a lip sync to the MetaHuman saying that audio. So if say you're working on a game and you want your characters to actually speak, this makes the process a lot more simple. And it works with multiple different languages. Next, we have Modeling Mode. Now this is a plugin that you have to enable inside of the plugins menu inside Unreal Engine. And this basically provides a tool set for creating, sculpting, and editing 3D geometry directly inside Unreal Engine. I actually made a tutorial about this a couple of years ago. I think I should actually update this tutorial because it's had some changes since then. But like I said, this mode will basically allow you to edit things inside Unreal Engine. One of the most popular ways that I use this plugin is sometimes when you import a model into Unreal Engine, it just doesn't have the correct pivot point. Now you could go back into your 3D software and edit um, the pivot point of the model, although a much quicker way would be to enable the modeling mode plugin. Then you can actually edit the pivot point of meshes with this plugin, and that can save you a lot of time. I actually made a specific quick tutorial about how to edit the pivot point of meshes using this plugin. I'll make sure a link to that video appears on the screen somewhere now. But in general, the idea behind this plugin is to save you time so that you don't have to constantly go back into 3D software if you want to make changes to a model. Instead, you can do it directly in Unreal Engine, which should hopefully save you some time. Next, we have the Fab UE plugin. Now, this is a recent plugin. It only works in Unreal Engine versions 5.3 to 5.5. But basically before, if say you bought an asset from the Unreal Engine marketplace and you wanted to import it into your project, you would need to basically open up the Epic Games Launcher. You find the asset you want to add to your project. You'd select the project that you want to add your asset to, and you'd have to do it from the Epic Games Launcher. Although with the Fab plugin, you just want to go over to your um, Epic Games Launcher, look for the Fab UE plugin, and go install the engine. Install this to your Unreal Engine project. Then in your project, you can just go over to Window, and you should see the Fab. And then without um, going to the Epic Games Launcher, you can easily import and add assets directly from this window into your project. So this is just a quicker way of doing this. It's pretty nice that this has been added because before you had to go to the Epic Games Launcher and other game engines like Unity have had it so you can easily import assets from the asset store from within the project. So it's nice that Unreal Engine has finally gotten this. The next plugin is the Water plugin. Now this is a plugin which you just need to enable inside of your project. You just need to go over to your project, go over to edit, plugins, and then open the plugins browser, search for the water plugin, and check its box to enable it. So this water system will enable you to create rivers, lakes, and oceans that all interact and work together with your landscape terrains using a spline-based workflow. The water system unifies the shading and mesh rendering pipeline with surfaces that support physics interactions and fluid simulation with gameplay, such as ripples caused by footsteps or the wake behind a boat moving through the water. Next up, we have the interactive world. This plugin will help you set up natural interactive elements. So for example, you can make it so when the player is walking through some mud, there's some mud trails left behind. When they're walking through some water, water trails are left behind. When they're walking through snow, snow trails are left behind. You name it. So those are some of the top 10 free Unreal Engine plugins. 
Let me know. Are you already using any of them? What do you think of them? That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.